the idea was to provide a real professional music education to young people so that then when they would graduate from high school, they would get scholarships at places like Oberlin and Michigan State, Eastman, Colgate, and, and that's what happened. Uh, we had some 300 young people involved, started in the program, some 7th and 8th graders from like McKeesport, and uh, they didn't have any bassoon teachers, any bassoon players at Duquesne. And so they needed bassoon players to play in the orchestra. So they gave them a full scholarship. Same thing at, at Carnegie, uh, and the same thing at Oberlin and all these schools. There are certain instruments that aren't being taught because they're too difficult to teach. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to mention this school or this area, but I met recently uh, with a, a woman who teaches uh, in one of these schools, and I said, how many bassoons do you have? And she said, oh, we have one in the closet, and it hasn't been repaired for years. Now, this is a teacher who teaches, who plays bassoon, plays in the orchestras, and so that's, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. We don't they're, they're, and this is a national problem. It's not just Western Pennsylvania. So that uh, our goal is to teach these young people to be fine performers. And it's not just with bassoons. For instance, there was a, uh, a Danya Chavez out of out of McKeesport, and uh, she was a flutist, and she got a full ride at Oberlin. Uh, when you think about young people coming out of college today with $150,000 worth of debt and no way to pay that, then you realize how important this program can be. How many families in this area can afford $50,000?